think Marion is unique because it has such a rich uh, history behind it. Main Street and Gobble Street began as Indian trails. In the 1750s, settlers started coming to this area. In about 1780, uh, we became a village. It was called Gilesboro after Colonel Hugh Giles that fought under Francis Marion. And then later in 1847, it was renamed as Marion. So we have a rich history that goes way back. So we have lots of things to, um, to show people when they visit. The Marion County Museum was a school in the beginning. It actually was chartered in 1811, but this building was built in 1886. So it's 125 years old. In the museum, we have antiques from the Aiken Rhett House that was uh, in Charleston. We have local things like um, a schoolroom is upstairs. Students can even come in and experience uh, quill pen and ink writing. We have a farm room. We also have a new oral history exhibit that was done by a Duke student this summer, and we're working on um, having an Indian artifact exhibit. In the main hall, in Francis Marion Hall, we call it, um, we have a, the composite statue that was done for the large statue that's in the courthouse square. We have that, and we have uh, the sweet potato picture that's um, so famous, and we have the um, painting done by um, David Blossom that was uh, issued for the stamp in 1982 that was postmarked in Marion.